I've been talking about uh, Mary Makes It Easy, which is my uh, current TV series, which is on Thursday nights, and uh, uh, lots of recipes. Every recipe has uh, a picture that I've tried to use. Um, many of them have the few ingredients in. Um, there, a lot of them are in one dish. Who likes washing up? Um, and there's a lot of um, uh, extra use of vegetables because, uh, but I do have lovely meat pies and uh, casseroles as well. Um, some ideas for Christmas. Uh, a very varied book, but all making it simple and easy with a lot of um, instruction how to get success. It's lovely to be here and to talk about a book which is fiction, not fact, although I'm a journalist in most of my life, um, where I try to tell the truth, <laughs> try to tell things that are accurate, uh, at least when you write them or broadcast them, you think they're accurate. And it's fun to write fiction. And I've written a third of a series of books, which I guess you would say are in the category of espionage fiction about spies. And it's rather fun to make things up rather than have to report about real matters set against a real background in the 1980s, but with people who are invented and who respond to events. And it's quite nice for me, and it's, to be honest, a relaxation to make things up. It's like impossible to understand what war is like unless you've lived through. When, like firstly, when I woke up in the morning, uh, hear, uh, hearing the first explosion about the uh, first explosions or uh, from the, uh, of the war, uh, I couldn't believe that is actually happening with me, and that like the war has broke out because. And then my member, my grandmother came came in in my in the living room saying that the war has started, and I got my first panic attack, and my hands were trembling, my teeth rattling, and. I've never experienced this. Uh, I didn't didn't know what war before uh, what war was like, and I understood that like if you haven't lived through this, you can't understand what it's like. Yes, so I was delighted today to be speaking uh, about my book Aptly, A Life in Politics, which is out in a new edition uh, at the moment, and I was very proud to speak about Clement Attlee, uh, Labour Prime Minister, nineteen forty five to nineteen fifty one, and his hugely significant achievements that still shape our world today from the foundation of the welfare state to the creation of the National Health Service to the foundation of NATO. And of course things have changed dramatically in the decades since but I do think not only Britain but the world order still bear Claire Matley's hallmarks. Yeah, I've had a lovely afternoon chatting about my three series, the Matthew Venn one and the, the new book that's out, The Raging Storm, and Vera and Shetland. So it's, it's just been lovely and so many interesting questions from the audience and nice to meet so many readers. Gibraltar's been great. It's been so welcoming. People are lovely. I arrived in bright sunshine to warm weather after days and days of rain in the UK. So that was that was made it even more special.